Hey guys, here we are playing Miss Stanley Parable. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other They're direction. That's when we're too late. <laughs> yeah, like we were planning to go serious, but the problem is we were, tr were trying to get the official ending back. Oh, like ruined. the new content back. I can't believe after everything we talked about that you. My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you That's think you? was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought Calm hadn't down. even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Yes, oh, a big child. My story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard to make... When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. I uh, the you know it says all the deluxe. Is everything alright? Oh. Stanley, important. I guess that There's means that we've become the narrator now, huh? Decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Whatever choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Oh, the text has stopped. Oh, that was wacky. <laughs> okay, so co were the gone. new content though should be there Stanley now. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply okay. missed a memo. Nope. No, it is not there. Hmm. I was sure um, it. Yeah, maybe he got to complete another ending in total, because I've been looking it up. And it says basically that you need to, at the very least, complete With the bucket in his arms again, all his it's different endings to get the new content go back. Touched the bucket tightly to his. This was not the correct way to the meeting room. But anyway, had felt let's the go and see what we can do with the bucket. That the employee lounge <laughs> yeah, was brand new dialogue in different areas. Was, really interesting. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Well, no. Never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left. To go back to the meeting room. No, said the bucket. 
Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. A cargo lift, yeah. Good, said the bucket. Now ride the lift all the way to the top. There's something up there I need you to do. Stanley did not question why or how this bucket was speaking to him. It should have alarmed him, of course, because buckets can't talk. But Stanley chose not to think about this obvious fact. He was firmly convinced that the bucket had spoken to him, and he unthinkingly did whatever the bucket asked. In here, said the bucket. Go into this dark room over here. Stanley once again obeyed Barker. blindly. Yeah, where the phone is. Now pick up the phone, said the bucket. This is the sad story of a man named Stanley and his bucket. Once upon a time, I gave Stanley a bucket because I thought he was lonely and could use a friend. And then, very distressingly, he began to believe the bucket could speak to him. The Stanley Parable Reassurance Bucket was merely meant to provide the comforting glow of companionship. It doesn't literally talk and give you orders. Whatever Stanley is hearing the bucket say to him is just in his head. Lately, I've been concerned about him. Wouldn't you be concerned as well? To see him delusional like this, obsessing over an inanimate metal object? I want to say something to him, but I don't know how I can convince him. I don't know if he'll listen to me. Well, I'll try anyway. Stanley, can you hear me? Listen to me. It's just a bucket. It can't think. It can't talk. All it would ever truly do for you is effectively transfer a liquid from one location to a different location. That's it. It doesn't do anything else. You see, he's not listening. He's still taking orders from the bucket. You know, once upon a time, it was me he took orders from. Me he trusted and listened to. Now all he cares about is this awful bucket. This stupid hunk of metal. It's sad. I suppose he doesn't need me anymore. From now on, he's just going to cling to this bucket. This cold, empty bucket. This sort of shiny bucket. Hmm. Well, I'll give it this. The bucket does have a nice shine to it. Yes, I suppose on closer inspection that it doesn't quite look like your average hardware store bucket. It's just a little more, um, what am I trying to say? Sturdier. More capable of transporting liquid. Uh... Like it would be better at moving an amount of water from one room to another. Oh my god, what am I saying? better at carrying water from room to room. It's a bucket. It's literally just a bucket. Why do I feel some need to point out the ways in which it's so much more than just a regular bucket? Oh no. I'm... I'm having feelings for the bucket. No, 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 no. What's going on? Why do I want to be with the bucket? Hear what the bucket has to say. Do anything it asks. What's wrong with me? I don't understand. Perhaps, perhaps, if I had the bucket, this would be less confusing. Yes. The bucket could tell me what to do in this troublesome situation. Stanley, give me the bucket. Give it to me. Give me the bucket, Stanley. I need it. Give it to me now. Give it or I'll... <laughs> what? <laughs> Go to back work, Stanley. Yes, uh, yes, sir, Mr. Bucket, sir. <laughs> All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Change the layout again. That was interesting. Stanley picked up the bucket and smiled. He'd never be alone again, not truly alone, not with the bucket around. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left.
to a staircase, Stanley and the Bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Oh, good ending. Stepping in. Oh, there it is. Oh, I tried to do that. You're right on time. Oh, uh, you gotta try and do the escape pod ending with the bucket. Er you gave me a shorter walkway. Looks like we're going up the stairs again. It's kind of creepy not having the narrator around, isn't it? Yeah, I have to put the music up again. Stanley kept on walking with the bucket in his hand. He wanted to throw up in it because there was too many dead stairs. <laughs> Shorts, short but lift. Er. Ooh, cutscene. Are we? What? <laughs> <laughs> Have you <laughs> seen this one? No, I haven't. Have you? <laughs> 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 Leaving. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, and it's changed again. Oh, the bucket's not there. So that's an official ending. <laughs> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Bro? Which one? Right or left? Right or left? Justin? Hello? Justin? Hello? Hello? Sorry bro, I've been having issues with my internet a lot lately, I don't know what's going on. Ah, it's fine, don't worry too much about it. Which door are we taking, left or right? The narrator says um, left. Okay, uh, well, the thing is, I don't really know what is left that we haven't done in the normal ending stuff, but we can't access the bucket anymore. 
Oh, um... Hang on. Uh, it's the closet that you uh, suggested once. Oh yeah, in the broom closet. But, is it openable? Stanley oh. stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing okay. here. So he turned around and got back on track. Okay, so now you just stay in there for a bit. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. Just wait it out, bro. Oh, I'm doing that. I'm just doing some YouTube Trust stuff you. in the meanwhile. <laughs> it was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet F.A. <laughs> are you are you really still in the broom closet? Standing around yeah. doing nothing? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. <laughs> you do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me, because literally, this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never what would have thought ever. to mention it. Maybe to you, this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe, when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, Ow! Did you get the broom closet ending? <laughs> the broom closet ending was my favorite. <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. <laughs> Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably oh, got the job dick. because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That all with drug money. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Hey. That's a dick move, all right, Eric. That's a dick well, move. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got yeah. to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed in front of your screen. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby? The person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Okay, so step out and then immediately go back in. Yes, sir. Uh, you too? Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Uh, hang on, just give me a sec. Don't go out yet. I'm not going out. Um, Okay, begin the game again. Anything? And then go back to the broom closet. Okay. 
Oh no, if the bucket Even is now, back. Stammy's office was a distant memory. What did it look like? Oh, bucket is there back. Computer, yeah, perhaps, replacement a bucket. Was it a painting <laughs> or a photo? He could no longer recall. <laughs> Oh, no, new content is still not there. Okay. He's still broken. A set of two open doors, he entered the I'm not door sure. And left. There's got to be a way to fix it. There's got to be a way to fix it, right? Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Not again. I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. <laughs> okay, so now reset again, and when you go past the room closet, it will be boarded up because he's pissed off with people going into it. All of his characters were gone. Okay. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, so I'm curious what would happen two open if you doors, played out the, the actual normal left. story all the way through. Like you did the boss, you did um, turning off the mind control and everything. What would happen then, do you think? Well, is there, um, like you took. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. I can't believe that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, she did that. Now, playing the, playing the normal story. Okay. Like playing okay, the normal story all the way through. I'm just now, curious blah, blah, what will happen. Secrets, the keypad, Stanley, which is blah, 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 blah. Hey, look, <laughs> it's a new passageway. Kill surprise. Just check to see that big ring's there. Turn around. Okay, it's not there. Okay. Yeah, because I can't figure out, like, why the new content is not popping up again. So, I'm wondering if it has something to do with the fact that we need to finish the full game, uh, the full story, the main story. Stanley walks um, straight ahead through the large door, the and red yet, I think mind control the facility. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place yeah, hold? Yeah, blah, 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 this did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Wasn't it maybe that we opened it when we got his that, entire life um... utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with it was just like the happy or sad, like the narrator was talking content, about, like walking, the comments eating, was made, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very um, place. And as the cold reality of his past, well, how did we get that in the universe? Stanley decided that, that this was. Yeah, I know we did. Yeah, no, how did we get to it? Do you remember? No, you hmm. no, but I'll see if I can find it. Blackness, 
and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine, unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How had Don't he care. been freed from the machine's grasp? What other Don't mysteries care. did this strange building hold? But as Don't sunlight care. streamed into the chamber, <laughs> he realized none of this mattered to him. For there it was go. not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. And that was all he needed to know. It was, perhaps, the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Okay, so that's the normal ending. Is that going to change anything? The hmm. meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room. Everyone plays with pockets. No one's in the normal pocket. Ever again. Man, the content's not there. Where in the world? Yeah. I'm really confused. Yeah, more new endings. Yeah, but I mean, the only thing I could think of is maybe to try to get new endings with the bucket. Well, what ending have we missed? Wait, maybe no one. The good old bucket. Just Stanley and the bucket. Off on another thrilling adventure together. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Well, no, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. Yeah, we haven't gone on no, the catwalk with bucket, the bucket, have we? Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Nothing. Oh, I don't even know what happened to this one. Yeah, this is this is also another creepy one. Okay. This is day number 295. Tape number... I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense anything makes. The sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down. Oh, it doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so What do I do with this treasure? I can... I can monetize it. Yes. It's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. This 
is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful, because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. What's that? Who's there? I don't know. <laughs> that was All terrifying. Was gone. What could it mean? It was like a Stan had decided ending. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Still no new content. Okay, so just keep trying to get new endings. With uh, the it's already <laughs> past the time. Okay. Uh, even how badly I wanted to continue, the only way I, we can do that is like by doing it next time. <laughs> Okay. So guys, this is sadly where I'm going to end off. We'll be back tomorrow with some more... Uh, oh, no, not tomorrow. Uh, Wednesday. No, no, Wednesday. Friday with some more Stanley Parable. If hopefully we can get the you know, door open. We're trying to find every story we haven't done yet. So hopefully we'll all find one. Until next time, everybody. Bye-bye. Peace.